Hello everyone, and welcome to my Days of Our Lives 24 channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Melinda is skilled. She came on board as Boss Insight, and she won't ever think back. I came in promptly a few days ago, and her vehicle was left in its spot, and the motor was cold, Kristen said. Kristen inquired as to whether Melinda had trusted that she was troubled at the organization. No. She puts the organization's requirements first, particularly when that's what she found Ava began. Ava recollected her discussion with Melinda about Connie. Guess what? That is a Demera issue, and I don't work at Demera any longer, Ava said. Disappointed, Kristen requested to hear what Ava had some awareness of Melinda. Do I land my position back first? Ava inquired. Kristen contended that her hands were bound regarding this situation, however Ava clashed. It's more confounded than that, and you know it, Kristen protested. Ava would not express anything about Melinda. It's not private. It's simply business, Ava said. Ava grinned. In Connie's room, Melinda giggled in front of Connie. Melinda noticed that individuals would search for her. I overlooked how adored and basic you are to such countless individuals, Connie said wryly. Melinda begged Connie to stand by listening to sound judgment and let her go. Connie advised Melinda to ask Lee for assist with supper until she returned. After Connie left, Melinda told cardboardly, know any great jokes? Other than this? Melinda battled against the ropes and shouted obscenities. After Melinda quieted down, she investigated at Cardboardly, did Connie appear to be this insane when you went on that one date? I'm certain she did. I'm speculating to that end there was rarely another, Melinda said. Melinda chuckled. As Melinda kept on battling, the rope on one wrist began to relax. In the Demera family room, a confused Stefan inquired as to why Gabby was unspooling tape. I'm partitioning the room. That is your half. What's more, this is mine, Gabby said. Gabby made sense of that her separation lawyer had encouraged all her the chateau as her main living place. This is your main living place, Stefan noted. For legitimate purposes, yes. Yet, I don't need you even close to me, Gabby countered. With a moan, Stefan apologized for having made Gabby extremely upset, and he said he trusted that she would pardon him one day. At the point when Stefan noticed that partitioning the house with tape was crazy, Gabby let Stefan know that his perspective didn't make any difference to her. Furthermore, we ought to settle this at the present time. Assuming that you bring your little sweetheart home, ensure she remains on your half, Gabby snarled. Gabby reported that she expected to partition the remainder of the house, and she left. Gabby educates Abigail regarding her convoluted past with Stefan. Gabby educates Abigail concerning her muddled past with Stefan. Higher up, Gabby thumped on Abigail's entryway, then went into the room. Yet again I figured I ought to present myself, since we'll be living under a similar rooftop, Gabby said. I'm Abigail, Abigail said. Gabby positioned her head. They say that. Yet, you know, I simply don't see it, Gabby noted. Abigail began to make reference to the mishap, yet Gabby said she definitely had some awareness of that and the amnesia. With a gesture, Gabby requested that Abigail disregard any tape she saw around the house. Quick version, I'm at battle with my significant other, Gabby said. Abigail grinned, and she noticed that she had met Stefan. Please accept my apologies to hear it, Abigail said. Gabby was shocked. Gabby made sense of that, she and Abigail had a checkered history and were generally pseudonymuses. Sounds muddled, Abigail said. Like all the other things in this house, Gabby protested. Abigail inquired as to whether their issues originated from Abigail's past undertaking with Stefan. That's what you recall? Gabby inquired. Abigail made sense of that EJ had told her. Obviously, he did, Gabby mumbled. Gabby noticed that Abigail and Stefan had been involved preceding Gabby's relationship with Stefan. You weren't sane. Stefan was a totally different story, Gabby said. 
Gabby enlightened Abigail concerning her set of experiences with Did. Didn't understand that I had two characters that I expected to recollect, Abigail said. Gabby guaranteed Abigail that Abigail's modifies had been all coordinated. Each time I meet another person in this family, I feel like I owe them a statement of regret, Abigail said. Gabby told Abigail not to apologize for having laid down with Stefan on the grounds that Abigail had been not able to assent as a change. In fact, it was assault. I keep thinking about whether I could involve that in my separation case? Gabby said. Seems as though you're really furious with him, Abigail said. Abigail conceded that she would probably be as frantic assuming her significant other had undermined her. Please accept my apologies you're going through this, Abigail said. Gabby grinned tragically, and she cautioned Abigail to be cautious about making companions in the family. I fundamentally have no partners in this house, Gabby said. Abigail noticed that they were experiencing the same thing, since she didn't have any idea who her partners were. I have an inclination I could utilize all the reluctant rivals I could get, Abigail said. Gabby concurred. EJ strolled into the Demera lounge room and he saw the tape. What's this? EJ inquired. We are remaining in my half of the room, Stefan said. EJ giggled. Stefan added that he didn't have any idea what the tape meant for different individuals from the family. Relationships self-destruct. No surprises there. However, both of you ought to have essentially the great taste not to remember most of us for your theatrics, EJ said. Stefan contended that EJ was at fault, and EJ chuckled in dismay. You're the person who persuaded her to remain here yesterday, Stefan brought up. In you beseeching her to remain. I helped you out, not that I anticipate that you should give me any much appreciated, EJ countered. Stefan contended that EJ had spurred Gabby into seeking after the chateau in the separation. With a grin, EJ reminded Stefan that he claimed around 50% of the house. It's great to realize I have a partner as long as you have something to lose, Stefan said. EJ chastised Stefan for his decision of Ava. Let Ava well enough alone, Stefan said. EJ squinted his eyes, and he reminded Stefan that Ava had grabbed and nearly killed E.J's mom. At the point when Stefan emphasized that Ava was untouchable, EJ guided out Stefan's impulse towards safeguard Ava. EJ recommended that Jake's heart actually adored Ava. With a laugh, EJ hoped everything would turn out great for Stefan of Karma. You know, it wasn't excessively quite a while in the past that I trusted that this multitude of battles between us would be finished. Furthermore, that you and I were never going to be companions yet we could essentially be siblings, Stefan said. Yet, haven't you heard? Despairing people tend to be desperate for kindred spirits, EJ said. EJ let Stefan know that he anticipated watching Stefan and Gabby assault each other.